Athens, Georgia, and the Low Country. This is WJCL 22 Morning News. See us. We have to learn how to live with COVID as we move from a pandemic to the endemic phase of this virus. Right now on WJCL 22 Morning News, a drastic new push to get rid of mask mandates. The key reason health officials say it's too soon. This is a criminal investigation. We're not here playing a game. A Georgia district attorney tied up in a legal battle with pres uh, former President Donald Trump says she won't take no for an answer. The latest ruling that has her fighting back. The former mayor of Atlanta making a big move. Keisha Lance Bottoms joining Atlanta based CNN. The new position she'll hold and why she says she's been working for this for decades. And in just hours, we'll learn which movies, filmmakers, and actors are nominated for the Oscars set to air right here on WJCL 22. This morning, the biggest movies and TV shows being shot right here in our area. It is right now 6 o'clock on your Tuesday morning, and we are live in downtown Savannah looking at City Hall this morning. We want to thank you so much for starting your day with us here on WJCL 22. Good morning, everyone. I'm Emma Hamilton. And I'm Frank Sulkowski, meteorologist Jonathan Myers joining us as well. And John, I'll tell you what, after the past couple days where we've had some yeah. wet, chilly temperatures to start the day, today not nearly as bad. Yeah, exactly right, Frank. We're going to see uh, temperatures a little warmer this morning and not as gloomy this afternoon. We'll see a little more in way of sunshine uh, later today. And uh, starting out, definitely jacket weather. Most of us right now low to mid 40s as we start the day out the door for school. And after school today, we'll see a few peaks of sunshine and temperatures in the mid 50s. So another cool afternoon for us. But I promise everyone we will see some milder temperatures over the next couple of days. Live radar showing it nice and dry for most of us. The last of the showers now moving off the coast there in McIntyre. County, but look at the clouds extending all the way down in the Gulf of Mexico. These clouds will continue to stream our way throughout the day. So I, so I believe a good part of the daytime today we will see mainly cloudy skies. But like I said, moderate weather is on the way back up closer to average tomorrow into the mid 60s. And how about close to 70 by Saturday? I'll detail this warm up in less than 10 minutes. All right, thanks so much, John. Let's head over to Liberty County Oglethorpe Highway there at Oceans Highway in Midway. As you can see, things flowing nicely on the roadways as we get just past 6 o'clock on this Tuesday morning. New this morning, the fight to end mask wearing in schools across the nation. Yeah, right now, governors in several states pushing to get rid of the requirement. And as ABC's M. Win reports, the push doesn't only target schools. This morning, COVID-19 infections are falling across the nation. And now some states, once epicenters for the virus, are announcing masks will no longer be required in schools starting in about a month. New Jersey's governor says he's leaving restrictions up to the school districts. We have to learn how to live with COVID as we move from a pandemic to the endemic phase of this virus. Delaware, Connecticut and Oregon also planning to end school mask mandates with New York's governor signaling she may make an announcement on the issue tomorrow. California is ending its indoor mask mandate next week, but keeping the rules in place for school children, at least for now. This comes as hospitalizations are down nearly 50% with new cases dropping 61% since mid January. Nearly 632,000 kids tested positive last week. Some health professionals say it's too soon to end mask mandates because vaccination rates are not high enough yet among the school age population. Vaccination rates are the lowest in individuals under age 40. We're going to see school based outbreaks at a time when we're trying to return to normal, but we're actively making decisions that go against that. I know that kids don't want to necessarily wear the mask, but it's really for their overall protection. And the nation marking a grim milestone. The Washington National Cathedral tolling its bell 900 times to recognize 900,000 COVID-19 deaths. As congressional leaders gathered on the Capitol steps in remembrance for those lost to the virus. Health experts say many of these deaths could have been prevented as just 64% of the U.S. population is fully vaccinated, along with just 39% of eligible children. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington. A judge in Canada ruling in favor of a court order to stop the blaring horns coming from truckers protesting COVID-19 vaccine requirements. For more than a week now, drivers have been clogging up roadways and streets near the U.S. border in protest. You can see major backups here on the Ambassador Bridge that affected wait times at the border on Monday. 
This is a criminal investigation. We're not here playing a game. I plan to use um, the power of the law. We are all citizens. Fulton County's District Attorney Fannie Willis isn't backing down from the argument that former President Trump can't be prosecuted for crimes committed during his presidency. This comes as she investigates Trump and his possible interference in the 2020 election. Mr. Trump, just as every other American citizen is entitled to dignity, he's entitled to be treated fairly. He will be treated fairly in this jurisdiction, but I plan to do my job. And my job is to make sure that we get the evidence that gives us the truth. Um, I'm not concerned at all about games to delay this. You'll remember last week we told you Willis asked the FBI for help following uh, the former president's speech where he urged his supporters to hold massive protests if anything illegal is found. Last month, a judge granted her request for a special grand jury in the investigation. Former Atlanta Mayor Heisha Lance Bottom says she's joining CNN as a political commentator. Bottoms posted the announcement on social media. She said she applied for the CNN video journalism program in college but she didn't get in. She finished the post by saying in part to now join the team nearly 30 years later is a reminder that a dream deferred is never a dream denied. Well, in just hours, we'll hear the nominations for this year's Oscars airing next month right here on WJCL 22. You can hear the entire list of nominations coming up right after our show on Good Morning America. That announcement is expected right around 8.15. Right here in our area, we are smack dab in the middle of a filming hotspot. Yeah, this morning, dozens of movies and TV shows being shot in both Georgia and mm -hmm. South Carolina. I want to go ahead and bring in Melissa Hall now. She's live in downtown Savannah where a big project is now underway. Hey, Mel. Hey, Frank. Yeah, the latest installment in the Halloween movie series being shot right here in the Hostess City. Halloween Ends starring the legendary Jamie Lee Curtis. Now that is going on right now. It'll be the third and final installment of the franchise reboot, which of course began back in 2018 with Halloween. That was filmed mostly in the low country of South Carolina. Now the movie filming under the production title Cave Dweller. So that's what you're going to watch out if you see that around. We reported there have been extras or casting calls for multiple extras around the area, including Savannah, Statesboro, Springfield. Now, Halloween ends. This is set to hit theaters in October, but that's not all that's going on. There's filming in Georgia right now for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Back in November, we caught up with film crews in Brunswick. We just checked this morning, and according to the Georgia Department of Economic Development, crews are still filming in the area as we speak. Now, of course, that's not the only Marvel project in our area. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, that popular Marvel TV miniseries that premiered last year, that was filmed right here in Savannah too. Crews were at home, were at a home in the Vernonburg community. That's right there down South Savannah off of White Bluff Road. And they're also at Moon River and Downing Piers on Skidaway Island. We even caught up with an extra who told us about her time on the set. Now, don't forget about WandaVision, that sitcom released last year on Disney Plus. That was also filmed partially right here in Georgia. And coming up in 30 minutes, we're going to have the very latest on a very popular new series. A lot of people have been talking about this. A move happening halfway across the country to right here in our area. We'll tell you who that is in 30 minutes. Frank, Emma. You know, it's so awesome. I love watching movies and being able to recognize exactly where that was shot. Still gets me chills whenever I watch yeah. Forrest Gump and I oh, see the yeah. opening scene. It's always exciting and it just it will never get old. No, it sure won't. All right, mm -hmm. thanks so much, Melissa. I time check for you this